In broad terms, telescopes come in one of three categories, the refractor, the reflector, and the catadioptric or compound telescope. The first one is the refractor. Refractor has a lens that gathers light at one end, and you look to the eyepiece at the other end. It's what most people think of when they hear the word telescope. True to its name, the reflector has a mirror in the back that gathers light. It directs that light into a secondary mirror. You might just be able to see that here. What you can't see is that it's angled at a 45 degree angle. It angles the light into here, and this is the eyepiece. This is where you look. So they're the opposite of the refractor. In the refractor, you look into the back. In the reflector, you look into the side of the front. So the third type of telescope is the catadioptric or compound telescope, characterized most often by this, the schmidt cassegrain So the schmidt cassegrain is sort of a blend between the refractor and the reflector. There is a lens element in the front that light goes through. It gathers light with a mirror in the back, bounces the light back into a secondary mirror on the corrector plate, and then shoots the image back through a hole in the corrector plate to this diagonal where you look through the eyepiece. And of course, every good telescope needs a good mount. Here's the refractor mounted upon a traditional German equatorial mount. This is my Celestron AVX. With this axis here, this is called the right ascension axis, pointed towards the North Pole, or the South Pole, if you happen to be living in the Southern Hemisphere, you can track the stars using only one motion. And again, we've got a lens in the front here with the refractor, and you look into the back here, this is the eyepiece. And here we are with the reflector mounted. Again, the reflector gathers light through a mirror in the back and focuses the light onto the eyepiece in the front. So it's the opposite of the refractor. A little bit hard to see the eyepiece here. It's on the other side. And finally, we have the compound telescope. This is the Celestron C6 schmidt cassegrain And again, similarly to the reflector, it gathers light through a mirror in the back, but it has to pass through this lens element first, gets bounced onto the secondary mirror, and shoots the image out through a hole in the primary. The eyepiece is in the back, and that's where you look. Okay, so what'd you think? Were you paying attention? You know, not long ago I was on a forum or a YouTube video somewhere where somebody said, you have to film in 4K. <laughs> if you're not filming in 4K, then it's useless. You shouldn't even be watching the video. Okay, well, uh, is that true? So you just saw six clips. There were three clips of me sitting at the desk and three clips in the other area. Some of those clips were shot in 4K. Some of them were shot in 1080p, and some of them were even shot in 720p. Did you notice? And if so, did you care? Did it matter to you? So I'll go ahead and show those clips to you again, this time showing you what the resolution is on each one of them. But it's pretty easy to figure out. In each of the clips, the first one is in 4K, the second one's in 1080p, and the third one is in 720p, and then it resets and it goes all over again. So it goes from the high resolution down to the low resolution. Take another look and see what you think. In broad terms, telescopes come in one of three categories. The refractor, the reflector, and the catadioptric or compound telescope. The first one is the refractor. Refractor has a lens that gathers light at one end, and you look to the eyepiece at the other end. It's what most people think of when they hear the word telescope. True to its name, the reflector has a mirror in the back that gathers light. It directs that light into a secondary mirror. You might just be able to see that here. What you can't see is that it's angled at a 45 degree angle. It angles the light into here, and this is the eyepiece. This is where you look. So they're the opposite of the refractor. In the refractor, you look into the back. In the reflector, you look into the side of the front. So the third type of telescope is the catadioptric or compound telescope, characterized most often by this, the schmidt cassegrain So the schmidt cassegrain is sort of a blend between the refractor and the reflector. There is a lens element in the front that light goes through. It gathers light with a mirror in the back, bounces the light back into a secondary mirror on the corrector plate, and then shoots the image back through a hole in the corrector plate to this diagonal where you look through the eyepiece. And of course, every good telescope needs a good mount. 
Here's the refractor mounted upon a traditional German equatorial mount. This is my Celestron AVX. With this axis here, this is called the right ascension axis, pointed towards the North Pole, or the South Pole if you happen to be living in the Southern Hemisphere, you can track the stars using only one motion. And again, we've got a lens in the front here with the refractor, and you look into the back here, this is the eyepiece. And here we are with the reflector mounted. Again, the reflector gathers light through a mirror in the back and focuses the light onto the eyepiece in the front. So it's the opposite of the refractor. A little bit hard to see the eyepiece here. It's on the and finally, we have the compound telescope. This is the Celestron C6 schmidt cassegrain And again, similarly to the reflector, it gathers light through a mirror in the back, but it has to pass through this lens element first, gets bounced onto the secondary mirror, and shoots the image out through a hole in the primary, the eyepieces in the back, and that's where you look. And finally, we have the schmidt cassegrain here, similar to the reflector. It gathers light through a mirror in the back, but it has to pass through this lens element first. Light gets bounced off this secondary mirror here, shoots the image through a hole in the primary and back. This is where you look, the eyepiece over here. Okay, so a word for the, those of you who care about such things. The 4K video and the 1080p clips were taken with this. This is a Canon R6. It's a full-frame mirrorless camera. I had to dig to find a camera that would film in 720p these days. This one doesn't go down that far. I had to go all the way back to my Canon 6D. This is a 10-year-old design at this point. And although they were using technically the same lens, it's a 50 millimeter f1.8. This is their new RF lens. This is the old EF lens. The sensors are different, so the color science is going to be off a little bit. I tried to grade the footage so that they look the same, but I think they're off just a little bit. So if you did notice a difference between the clips with the 720, it may be because of the chip or the color science as opposed to the resolution itself. You know, I'm just old enough to remember growing up in the 1970s when TVs were 480 resolution. And thinking back on some of those old CRT picture tube TVs we had in the house, I think some of those were struggling to get anywhere near that resolution. But anyway, getting back to the question, do you really need to film in 4K these days? Well, you know, I think it's reaching the point where it may be a moot point because your phone will film in 4K these days. And again, I had to struggle to find a camera that would even film in 720. Those are rapidly going away. And the same thing may eventually happen to 1080p. But I will say this, this channel went to 4K. I went to 4K somewhere around late summer of 2021. And since that time, there have been something like a million or so views on this channel. And of those million views or so, I have had exactly one person <laughs> write in to tell me that they noticed that the channel had gone to 4K. So maybe others have noticed and they just didn't write in, but I only heard from one person. So I'm interested to see what you think. I put your comments below. Did you notice a difference between the resolutions? And more importantly, did you care? And one final thing. You see me film in you know, this location, sitting here, twice now. I filmed those two clips in two different resolutions. Did you notice that they were different? Go back and look and see if you can tell the difference. I'll post the answer at the bottom of the comments below in the body of the description so that you can see. But take a look and see if you can tell the difference. Anyway, have fun with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.